Okay, so it's Sunday. I've got work to do. I've, this is now done. This is now being factory reset. So the purpose of the video is to get. So basically, this is a follow up from my last video. This is the one where you couldn't use Alliance Shield uh, to reset. Um, so you had to basically do it through um, Package Disabler Pro. And you can download Package Disabler Pro notification bar. But the problem I face with some of these devices is the little. Um, when you go to Universal Switch, you're going to find that sometimes you can't enable the little guy down here but there's no other way around it now, this is now starting up this is now done this also starting up as well In order to do this phone, so if you've got yourself a Samsung phone and you've tried Alliance Shield and it doesn't activate, this is what you basically do. So, I've now, I already had another device, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to download um, Package Disabled Pro and Notification Bar. So it's now being wiped with this phone. So if I go, here it is. So this is the phone I'm using here. Okay, and you've now, see now this one over here, you've got this, it needs the password for factory reset so we're gonna get this sorted as well but basically this is what you want to do you want to go back yeah go focus on two things at one time um okay so you are gonna go to um and you're gonna go ahead and install these files so you're gonna go to if i go to say um chrome here so you're gonna go to uh uh bit and bitly so bit uh, um, bit dot l y you can use frp frp so you can use frp lock um, zero two frp lock zero two one for the package installer getting buzzed over here I'm gonna deny that okay so installed frp lock 2 and frp and the pdp so this is pretty simple to do go ahead and install them on your device and you should have them installed here so package and then you've got that disabled there you've got the notification bar and we have let me go back so what this thing is this is os 14 so by in order to get to this you want to pull up your uh, samfa you can hit internet explorer galaxy store auto pass method 2 and connect to Wi-Fi, connect my cable and boom, open this thing up. Go to the Samsung store um, and uh, download OS 14. Once you've downloaded it, you are greeted with this screen. You just skip next, go to the next. And then from here, you, what you want to do is now you can see that if I click back up, if I go to click restore data, it tries to do this. Do not do not hit update go back and you agree with this what you're going to do is go back here into accessibility go to here and you're going to go on hit this and make sure that everything is deselected apart from menu settings see menu settings right there then you want to go back 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 then you want to go to back up here then you see little buttons here so you want to do is you want to tap the finger here my finger is just here i'm going to hold my phone and do this at the same time so eh, eh. see press that then you press this at the same time and hopefully that menu hasn't see it hasn't popped up and you've got rid of it so see my samsung's phone is selected there i'm just gonna have, don't press if you press that now you might prompt with the update you don't do anything you just hit restore uh, hit restore install and that's it leave it to restore forget doing anything else just leave it to restore
Okay, so I'll sped up the video now. We are now back. This is almost done 99%. But I'm sure you don't want to be waiting for me for this to restore and then just waiting for the next part of the video. So that's now done. Now you want to just click done. And then hit later. No one cares about that. And go back. Go back now. And now that is now backed up. So now we have. You also want to go into, and we'll do that in a bit actually first, we'll install. Okay, so you've got that there. Now, you should have your package disabler. You don't need to install the other stuff like DuckDuckGo, Tor Browser, or not. It's just the apps that I've got on my other phone. I've just left them on there. But yeah, you want to make sure that your, and you've surfed out, you don't really care about that. Just make sure that you've got this and this installed and you're good to go. Now, you want to go ahead and open this thing up first. Let's just have a look here. So hit accessibility and then we want to go to there. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. Uh, install services, we want to go there. Uh, notification bar, there. Click on, uh, allow. That's now done. I'm going to go back and that's now on, we're back, then we've got here, that is there, that is good, now notifications, uh, we've got notification bar, we'll click that and click allow and that is now on, don't show again and that is done, so good job. Now we want to make sure that before we do anything else, make sure we've got permissions to privacy, we've got privacy, uh, privacy manager and permission manager sorry. Permission manager and um, okay, files and media. You're gonna go into there and then we want to go to hit show system. And now we want to scroll all the way down and uh, just click all the way down here. And we should be able to find package disable pro allow management all files. Click allow, that's done. So good, that's out of the way now. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back. Now, before we hit this, we want to make sure we go up and we want to turn off Wi-Fi, hit Package Disabler, and then click Agree, Enable Admin, Activate. And now, before we do all this stuff here, so you scroll down, and then we want to hit Turn Wi-Fi On, and then wait for the Wi-Fi icon, click Agree, and just leave it. And now it's done. So we have now Nox done. So that's now completed. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. Please wait. And that should do it now. Now we want to type in the top and type in setup. Good. Okay. Now we're going to go setup, Android setup, hit disable, go back. And now we want to hit the Samsung wizard. So Samsung's up with clear data and the top corner you just got the timer now now that's now done go back and you might get a prompt here so if we go please wait okay or we might just go through now we can skip this click ok uh, skip any backup uh, click finish and we should be done sweet we are now done that is now completed and we are good to go. Yep, sweet. And we are in. I already had like a line shield and stuff already on and that backup, but you don't have to install that sort of this is just without that. But now yeah. And then you can from here you can just go to settings and you can basically do a factory reset and be a, a it will be a soft reset so it wouldn't allow any other things to happen. All right, ooh. all right, go there, let's go down here, and thanks, general management, and then from here you can reset the device, uh, and then just do a factor reset, and then that will wipe everything, just clear your information. Okay, shutting down, password's done, delete all data, and now that is now a fresh phone, Google account, everything wiped from the phone, and that's just gonna factory reset itself, let it to factory reset, make sure the phone doesn't die, because that would be a bummer. <laughs> but you've already got your credentials logged into this, so hopefully, you know, it's not the end of the situation. But yeah, that's all done. Uh, if you can't reset it 
otherwise you don't have to use test point or any sort of stupid thing like that anyway this would be nice hope you enjoyed that video like subscribe and as always peace out